Water is such a powerful force, you can't stop it. All new at 6 o'clock, a couple rescued from their home as freezing cold floodwaters quickly rose around them. WBZ's Beth Germano has their story tonight from Winthrop. When I seen the cellar door was off the hinges and I couldn't control the water, any, any of the, you know, the water coming into the cellar, I knew we were going to be in trouble. That's when a wall of water came flowing down Steve Esposito's now ice-encrusted Winthrop Street. Dry at high tide, and 15 minutes later, water rushed his basement almost to the ceiling. This photo shows everything frozen in its path. It actually was a little bit of a life and death experience because if I hadn't gone out of the basement when I did, when the water exceeded the panel on the wall on my electrical panel, I could have been electrocuted. So I, luckily I got out just before that happened. With no way out, a front end loader had to take Steve, his wife, and dog to safety. All they could do was hold on. And theirs wasn't the only bucket truck rescue in town. The only bad thing about it is the, the metal blade is so slippery from the ice and snow. Yeah, it's really hard to keep yourself steady. And the rush is on to remove the standing water because this road in Winthrop will become cased in ice. Water came high enough to cover that mailbox. <laughs> Getting rid of ice any way Winthrop residents can before the deep freeze. And water is pouring into seaside streets as fire crews rush to help pump out flooded basement after flooded basement. We got no power, no electric and no water with everything frozen up. Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito met with local officials to assess the damage and is hoping for some disaster relief. We will evaluate um, all of the estimates and then determine what next steps can be taken. Water is such a powerful force, you can't stop it. Right now, the relief for Steve Esposito is that he made it to safety. In Winthrop, Beth Germano, WBZ News.